happy Friday. So I wanted to hop on real quick before I head to the gym. Today is day five from 40 Days to a Joy-Filled Life. And today it's all about proactive versus reactive thinking. Okay, so he starts this example, start, starts this day off with the example of dogs. And my dog, my maple actually does this all the time. Um, in fact, yesterday morning, I woke up to um, maple barking at like 6.30 in the morning. So, which usually I'm getting up 6 or 6.30 anyway, but I was woken up to her barking. So I go and I let her out of the crate and then I realize the reason she's barking is there is a neighborhood dog in our yard barking. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? We have a few dogs that tend to roam. Another story for another day. But this dog was standing in our front yard at 6 a.m. barking towards my house. So what does Maple do? She starts barking. It's what dogs do, right? They bark at each other. So dogs were created to be that way, to like just react and bark, right? But people, we were not. We were given this mind that can actually think before we speak, if, if we choose, if we choose so. And so that's what today's reading is all about. Are you proactive or are you reactive? For instance, when someone is barking at your front door at 6 a.m., not really, but who's barking at you? And what is your reaction? So what he is suggesting is that we have some things in our head, kind of like we've been talking about the scriptural affirmations and repeating these things to ourselves, practicing the new thoughts, practicing the way we want to react, even though our first reaction is we want to bark back, right? We want to bark back. We want to type off that text and we want to, we want to like get him back or whatever, or speak or whatever, um, and say something reactive. But what if before those situations ever happened, we practiced these new thoughts and we rehearsed the proactive way that we want to treat people. So one of his examples is, despite how others treat me, I am going to treat them with respect and kindness. Isn't that who you want to be? That's who I want to be. But in the moment, we get so reactive, whether it's with our spouse or with our kids. Um, you know, we talked the other day about choosing to think gracious thoughts we can choose to think about our spouse in a positive way, or we can dwell on their negative qualities. We've all got negative qualities, right? But it's a matter of where I choose to put, I hope that he's going to see the best in me. So that's how I want to treat him. I want to look for the best in him. And so this is kind of planning in advance how you're going to think and how you're going to respond. So... The other example that he gives that I really like, that's going to be your affirmation that you can screenshot if you want to after I get done with this video. I keep my thoughts lined up with God's promises for me. So let's just, let's just talk through an example. Let's say you have a friend or your husband who says something hurtful to you. So if you've been rehearsing these thoughts and if you've been praying and meditating and practicing the new thoughts, practicing the new mindset, being renewed in your mind, being transformed by the renewing of your mind, you're doing all this renewing work. Y'all, it's work. It is work. In that moment, we can learn to be proactive instead of reactive, right? But that proactive takes work on the front end before the conversation ever happens. And y'all, I'm still, like I told you yesterday, I am not coming on here like I have this all, like, oh, I do this perfectly. <laughs> I'm practicing too. I'm practicing these new thoughts. Every single day I have new opportunities to practice. But I will say, the more that you start to think these things, the more times I read my cards that I'm carrying around, the more it starts to sink in and actually be in my mind. It is so exciting to see that happen. So, um, you know, let's say that someone says something hurtful to you. Your first reaction is to bark back, right? Like the dog does at 6 a.m. You want to bark back. But what if in that moment you give yourself a moment and you practice the new thinking? Okay, who I am in Christ has nothing to do with what they just said to me. 
Um, I am loved. I am cherished, you know, and I don't, you know, I don't know what they're saying to you in that moment, but whatever it is, is hurtful. So we have a choice. We can remind ourselves of who we are. We can remind ourselves of who we want to be. I want to be loving and gracious and kind, regardless of what the other person is saying or doing to me. And you guys, deep down, that really is who I want to be. So I've start, I even have on one of my cards that I read first thing in the morning. I, I keep meaning to put it on my phone to go off at like 6 a.m. Because sometimes you wake up and you're already full of thoughts about the day. And you, for me, I want to start choosing my thoughts that I have first thing in the morning instead of just being overrun by the day, right? We talked about yesterday. Does your morning habit, does your morning routine um, create joy or does it bring stress? So what you do first thing in the morning matters. So I want to set, um, a reminder on my phone for when I wake up that says, who do you want to be? Who do I want to be? I want to be that gracious person. I want to be the person who responds with love and grace and, um, empathy, forgiveness, uh, kindness, regardless of what that person thinks of me. And that's my tendency. I'll, I'll admit, first thing, I start thinking of all these things this person must be thinking of me. Well, she must think this, she must not like me, she must, well, where is that gonna lead? Is that gonna lead to anything positive in that relationship? Nope. So I want to learn to practice proactive thinking and have these thoughts already in my head over and over and over again. So in that moment, I can react in the way that I want to, in the, in the way that I've already chosen that I want to react to this person. Um, and he says, the truth is no one can make you mad without your permission. Does that step on anybody else's toes? In other words, it is not what someone else does that triggers your negative response. Rather, it is how you interpret what others say or do that unleashes your darker emotions. And that's something that Edie has said in her um, mindset, like her uh, life mentoring school. You choose the meaning. I have that written down on a card too. I get to choose what something means. So if someone says something to me, I can choose to be offended and I can choose to think, oh, she doesn't like me or, oh, you know, whatever. Or I can choose to think maybe she's having a bad day. Maybe she's going through something that I don't know about. Maybe my husband is really stressed at work. Maybe he's got a lot on his plate right now. I can choose those thoughts. I can choose what I make it mean, what I make that situation mean. I get to choose. So that's our little talk for today. Proactive versus reactive thinking. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this? It's hard, y'all. It's hard. <laughs> but we get to practice new thoughts and we can do it. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Love ya.